Okay, we have ourselves uh, connected to a signal generator, um, an accurate one. This is a Hewlett Packard 3320. We're outputting a uh, 10 cycle per second uh, signal into this unit, into this 465, and we happen to be set on a 10 millisecond per division um, trace. So at uh, 10 cycles per second, we would be going uh, 100 milliseconds per trace, and at uh, at 10 milliseconds a division for 10 divisions, that'd be 100 milliseconds. So we are showing one full cycle across the screen in 10 divisions. Therefore, we are accurate as far as the time base goes. Now, if I go to five milliseconds. should be able to turn my time base up to 20. And there we are again in calibration. If I go to 2 milliseconds, I should be able to go to 50. And there we are again. 1 millisecond. Should be able to go to 100. There we are at um, 0.5 milliseconds. That should be good for 200. And there we are. 0.2 milliseconds. If I go to 500, we should be on it. There we are. 0.1 millisecond if I go to a thousand. We're right on it. Alright, let's go to 50 microseconds. Uh, we should be able to go to 2000. And if we go to 20 microseconds, we should go to 5 kilohertz. And there we are again. If I go to 10 microseconds, we should be good to 10 kilohertz. Right on the money. Five microseconds, we should be good to 20 kilohertz. Right on the money. Two microseconds, we're good to 50 kilohertz. One microsecond should be good to 100 kilohertz. Point 0.5 microseconds. Should be good to 200. Point two microseconds, we should be good at 500 kilohertz. Right on the money. Point 0.1 microseconds would put us at a megahertz. Right on the money. And finally, 
microseconds uh, would be 2 megahertz. And there we are. So we just uh, went through the entire range switch uh, with the exception of the, of the very, very lowest, which would be difficult to see. But we were right on the money across uh, the entire range on both channels. We have both channels hooked together. So there you have it. The time base is accurate.